is going on? We found a little bit of snow. Drove through that a little bit. Headed to Columbus, Ohio. And checked the radar this morning. They got some snow last night. <clears throat> so we'll see how that uh, how that goes today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Securement Week. And uh, what goes on during that that time period so uh, stay tuned and enjoy the ride told you I'd find the snow big flakes too I'm sure I'm gonna find a whole lot more I was looking at the radar this morning where I'm going, uh, there was a big old band of, of snow just dropping on it. So I'm sure I'm going to find some. And once I drop this off, and I've got I already got a pre-plan to pick up in the area and head my butt back to Rogers, Arkansas. All right. Maybe it'll be a little bit warmer. I like the cold, man. Southern person. We don't, we don't mind the hot. We don't like the cold. Mm. Hi, sweetie. Found the snow. I'm sure I'll find a lot more. I love you. Bye. Oh, coming into Louisville. So let's talk about securement week. So after you get your CDL, uh, usually on Tuesday, Wednesday uh, is when they like to get them so they can get over and get into the next class on Thursday for securement. Uh, sometimes it doesn't happen that way and you got to sit around for a little while until the next class. Um, but uh, securement week starts on Thursday. It is a full six days. They say seven, but it's actually six. About, about five and a half, honestly. Um, uh, you'll start on Thursday. You'll have classroom work. You'll watch a lot of videos. Uh, you'll go over a bunch of slides. Uh, and they'll talk about securement. And you'll once you get done with uh, classwork that day, you'll go into the uh, you'll go into the bays. They've got they've got bays that's got uh, one, two, three, they've got about six trailers set up in there. Uh, they'll give you some safety briefings and, and stuff like that and what you, you know, what you can do and what you can't do uh, on the trailers because uh, it's all about safety. And then you'll start teaching you security. All right. So you'll trade off. There'll be, there'll be some classroom time and then there'll be some some actual physical work time. You're gonna do about three weeks worth of securements in that six days. Uh, it's it's tough, especially if you're there during the summer. It's hot. Uh, if you're there during the winter, it's cold. It's not air conditioned, and it's not. Uh, uh, they might have some heaters in there, but it's definitely not air conditioned. Um, but uh, they're all about safety, so they're gonna they're gonna call you out when you're when you're not safe. Uh, you're gonna have um, about a 50-50 split. You'll do some classroom work, uh, like I said, including slides and stuff like that. Uh, they'll demonstrate some things on some models. They've got models of trailers, uh, and they'll demonstrate some things on there. And then you'll do then you'll go out and apply that practically. You'll do that all the way through the weekend, uh, and then you'll uh, then you'll do that all the way through the next the next Tuesday. Now on Wednesday, when you go in, you're going to do your test. Now your test is uh, it's about 50 minutes. You've got 10 stations. And you've got five minutes at each station uh, to write down anything that's wrong with the securements that are set up. 
all right? And there may be a few things wrong, there may be one thing wrong, or there may be no things wrong with your securements, all right? And it's your job to go out and, and apply everything you've learned looking over those securements to, and tell the instructor on the, on the sheet of paper what's wrong with it, okay? Uh, the good thing about it is you're allowed to have your notes so you can take any note that you've done and you're also allowed they also have a book at each station for that type of securement that includes all the stuff all the slides and everything that you've you've gone over uh, in the classroom so you have a lot of resources there to help you out all right you're not allowed to talk don't talk to your don't talk to your friends you're not allowed to, to work on it together um, but you've got enough resources at your hand to pass all right each thing that you miss is worth half a point okay so you're allowed to miss I think up to three points but that means that you're allowed to miss six things and still pass so it's not like you miss one thing and you're and you're not gonna pass. Everyone in my class, and there was about, I don't know, about 15, 16 of us in that class, in that securement class, we all passed. Every single person passed. So don't don't think you're you know it's a it's a big stressful thing. It is not. It's like everything else, everything else in that school, you're gonna you're gonna have enough resources with you to pass. Alright? Once you get done with that, they're gonna they're gonna send you home. Well, I take that back. Once you get done with that, they're gonna send you the next day. They're gonna send you uh, to a um, a little briefing that where you're gonna get your trainer information. Uh, they'll go over some. Uh, your fleet manager will go over some things with you. You'll meet your fleet manager. They'll go over travel arrangements with you to get you back home if you don't live close like I did. Uh, and then they'll talk about your trainer and and, and uh, you might not know who that is, but they'll 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 get you with somebody and then that person is going to give you a call while you're at home. They're going to send you home for about five days or so. Um, and uh, let you let you get situated before you have to go meet your trainer. Uh, but it's it's really not a big deal. It's 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 hard work, but you can you can just persevere through it. Okay. Uh, somebody asked me on the comments how much all that cost. So right now they're doing a two-year contract, and you have to pay thirty dollars a week during that two years. It it ends up being like $3,140, $20, somewhere in there, okay? Now, if you don't fulfill that contract, if you leave before your, before your two years is up, then you're required to pay them back the difference between what you've already paid and $6,000, okay? So basically, you're getting the training for almost half off if you stay that two years with them. If the six grand is not in my books, so guess what I'm doing? I will be with them for at least two years. I don't, I don't want to pay them back the full, the full price. Uh, and that's about normal. Uh, I believe if you do it on your own, it's a, it's a little bit cheaper, but, but not much. Um, and I might as well, might as well, you know, pay half, half the price for my CDL and, and get paid while I'm doing it. You know, it's a, it's a win-win. So uh, uh, they'll fill you in all of that with all that information first week of MBA class. But really, that's all there is to it. Um, next video I do, it'll, it'll be on uh, training uh, with your trainer, that three to four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, whatever it takes for you. Um, I'll talk about that uh, tomorrow. Uh, you guys, uh, I'll do a wrap up. Maybe I'll do some stuff at the, uh, at the shipper. Uh, or a customer, I don't know, but we'll see. I'm waiting to get Wade. Check out this car. They are all decked out for Christmas. <laughs> Pretty funny. 
so we are in um, we've pulled into a gypsum board factory sheetrock look how big this thing is man huge It is way down there, man. Huge, huge place. They've also been pretty quick. Uh, I've only been here maybe 20 minutes. Got checked in at the gate, checked in at shipping office, pulled in here, and they're already loading me. Gotta love that. Huge, and they put the tarps on there for you. They got a tarping station down there. Can't beat that. So, point three miles ahead, straight yeah, on ramp 571 south. Just wanted to show everybody what it's like to try to park. So, the sign coming in here said that there were six parking spots left. Uh, this is, uh, this is what parking looks like. When you're when you're parking at about eight o'clock at night. A little over eight o'clock. There just isn't any. So what you do, see all these trucks, they're all gonna move, leave out forward. So you go in here and you sneak in behind. You leave enough lane on the on the side for people to get by. And you park your butt right behind this truck. And that's how you do that. Well, it's the end of the day. And uh, we've got a load of gypsum that we're carrying to Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, I'm right outside of Cincinnati right now. Um, so tomorrow will be an all day drive tomorrow uh, I don't have to be there until I think 7 a.m. Thursday morning so um, so yeah we're gonna be driving all day tomorrow uh, thank you very much we're at like 105 subscribers I appreciate that thank you for all the comments and the and the likes and uh, all that so if you've made it to the end of the video uh, my aunt Sharon said that we need to name this truck uh, leave a comment down below on what you think the truck's name should be and uh, I'll uh, I'll see if there's some cool names out there and uh, we'll uh, we'll name the truck so uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow